We suck again. I guess it was bound to happen. The Yankees, you know, winning four in a row, looking all, all right, we fixed all our problems. Here we go. We're going to, as the season turns to October, we're getting ready. This team is looking good again. And now we've just lost two straight to the Brewers, who are not a bad team. You know, before Milwaukee comes at me and threatens to kill me with cheese, I promise you that I'm not talking bad about Milwaukee. They're a perfectly good team, 77-67, or as of now, 78-67. Nothing wrong with them. It's just that... I was expecting the Yankees to turn it around. Okay, they figured out their issues. Now let's see the Yankees, you know, after sweeping the Red Sox, winning two straight against the Rays. All right, let's see where we go here. And maybe just because it's on the road, I don't know what the problem is, but tonight, a pretty dead performance. Uh, we can thank Jameson Tyone for giving up yet another home run. What is that, 16 for Tyone? Uh, let me see if I can pull this up. I think he has 16 since July 7th, July 8th. Yeah, he's had 16 home runs since July 5th. The only pitcher that's allowed more in that span is Josiah Gray. So, yeah, it's great. It's great we have a pitcher who just, just loves to go home runs like that. I mean, I guess it's better than watching Frankie Montez pitch because at this point, I think I would rather have my testicles cut off than watch Frankie Montez pitch again. Wait a minute. Let me, let me think about that. Yeah, I'd rather have my testicles cut off than watch Frankie Montez pitch again. So, it's not... All right, fine. I'm glad that Tyone is different. But, gosh, and, and, and yeah, only give up four hits, but I mean, it's just killers. Get out the home runs to Adams or Adams or whatever his name is. I guess it's Adams. Why does he have an E in the middle of his name? Like, it just completely throws me off. But he gives up that 3 one home run there, and from then on, I didn't feel much better about it. Then he gives up the double to Yelich in the fifth. I was really get there. Do got to give credit to Woodruff tonight. He did shut down the Yankees pretty well. Eight innings, five hits, one run, one walk, ten strikeouts on 101 pitches. So, credit for him. But it's not like the Brewers were like killing us offensively. They only had four hits, but they were all killers. They had the three hits that set up the Adams home run, and then the, the and then the Yelich double. So they got the four hits off the four runs off those four hits, and it just just sucks. So, and Stanton, real issues here. I think since he's come back, he's batted like in, here in September. He's batted one sixty two, and actually you look at his average for. Most of the last four months, he's been. in June, he batted 176, July 156, August 130, September 162. He has struggled for it. Now, he's usually had, like, in June, he had eight home runs. In July, he had five home runs. But in August, no home runs. I mean, he was hurt for And now, here in September, two home runs. So it's a real struggle right now watching Stanton. This is a major concern that needs to be fixed right away. And it's just, ugh, gosh. I don't know. And then that double play in the top of the eighth, it's just, it was just brutal. And I, that's a kind of the double play we'd see a lot of last year. Like the last year, the Yankees just grounded into 150 double plays. This one had the same kind of impact where it's just like a judge walks, and then immediately after that, you get a Stanton strikeout, and you get Glaber grounding into a double play, and you just feel your heart just sink out of its chest. And you wonder, like, when's it going to turn around? As my dog is barking here because my family is coming home. Great time for family to come home while I'm recording my video. Great job, guys. Could have come five minutes earlier, five minutes later. But no, i got to deal with my dog yelling and screaming at me while I'm complaining about this miserable baseball team. Or at least not miserable. There's still 30 games over 500. It's just now I'm worried and concerned. Where does this team... Can, can this team bounce back? Oh, for shut up! Can this team bounce back here going forward? I would like to think so. I would like to think that this is just, hey, it's just, it's just a road. Just a road series. They'll be fine. But... It's just, oh my gosh. And now we get, we get one more game tomorrow. We got Cole on the mound, and that's 50-50. You never know what that could be. And then we got two games home at Pittsburgh. So we should win those games easily. The keyword is should, but I also remember we were supposed to beat the Reds pretty easily. And uh, that series was not fun, if I remember correctly. When was that series? That like, then like, oh gosh. That, that was like the end of the first half. I can't remember it at this point, but... I remember there was a series. Yeah, we lost two out of three Cincinnati. So that should have been something that should have been easier. But we should be Pittsburgh pretty well, and we should be back on track. But I'm having concerns here. And, yeah, seeing uh, seeing Stanton be awful has just been a concern. Uh, Judge, I mean, I can't really kill Judge too much because he's been great for us. He's batting 312 now, but I want to see those home runs. It's actually stupid for me to complain about. Judge is trying to break the triple crown record, and I'm complaining that he's not hitting home runs. But everybody else, and Duhar 0 for 3, Cabrera, uh, Cabrera 0 for 3 tonight, Higashioka 0 for 3, Marlon Gonzalez, uh, I guess he just pinched hit, but he's batting 193, so I want to complain about him. Aaron Hicks got a hit, so I can't kill him too much. Um, he still sucks, though. And the bullpen actually was solid tonight. Good to see Chapman in his return uh, look good. I uh, thought we were going to see Rizzo tonight, but I guess maybe we're saving that for tomorrow. Either way, just a, a, a bad loss. And to make matters worse, we are now four and a half up on Toronto. Toronto has now cut the gap to four and a half. I, I, I think we'll be okay. But again, it, it's these kind of situations where I'm just like, darn it. Why is this team not making it any easier on us? I just want to clinch the division. I just want to just... 
settle that. Let's get our two spot or whatever and let's move on. But no, this team has to make it difficult. They have to make us suffer. They have to make us just have this existential dread. So not enjoyable there. But a tough loss here tonight. Congrats to the Brewers on two wins here. And let's just try to get Cole to pick up the pace tomorrow and let's see where we can go from here. But a rough loss. Good performance by Woodruff. And uh, Oh, and yeah, Marwan Gonzalez got hit in the head. After a day where he gets uh, complaints about being dizzy and they take him out, today he gets hit in the head. I mean, that's really what this Yankee season has been, just getting hit in the head. I, I, I would actually, that, that, you can just put that mean. That's a, a Yankee fan in 2022, uh, getting hit in the head the day after you were dizzy. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow to break down Game 3 of Yankees Brewers. Don't know when it will be, though, but I will have a Yankees Brewers recap tomorrow. Take care and God bless.